folks welcome to another let's watch slash talk where we check out the news trailer for movie game or show and today we got the marvel's final trailer so let's check this out and we'll talk about it after we destroyed thanos but it's not over my work is inevitable there will always be more to finish it This is just the beginning. She tore a hole in space. There's a different reality leading into ours. Whoa, okay. Interesting. What are you prepared to do? I'm invincible. Your powers only make me stronger. So you can't be matched. You can't be controlled. I'm asking for one last fight. You cannot protect your people. Ooh. You can stand oh, no. all without standing alone. They're here. The Marvels, rated PG-13. Uh -oh. Monica, you gotta fly. No, no, no. Uh... Black girl magic. Friday, get to all right guys wow a different reality bleeding into ours that is insane i did not know the whole story was going to go that way at least um throughout the last two trailers i believe that we saw teaser trailer and the full trailer i believe yeah i think so unless there was a trailer too um i digress the whole point is the fact that i didn't think the story was going to be like that i thought it was just going to be um a normal space boss leader whatever with their army because it looks like she has a crazy army right and she also has the ability the power that she uses against uh, all three heroes and she goes in and invades and then eventually she she basically opens the doors to that reality to that universe whatever right to bleed in or get in into ours and i mean a lot of crazy things is happening already especially with the whole doctor strange thing and loki season two that's happening as well a lot of crossovers and there's gonna be a whole secret wars eventually later on right way later on and then the whole of kang dynasty right all that stuff is it's like leading up to it little by little but i i think in just not very well done that's a whole different discussion right but point is i think the marvels looks fun looks good uh this was a more serious toned trailer though i don't know if you guys could tell definitely the other ones was like oh super fun like yeah you know with the music and everything right jumping and of course the dilemma of the three heroes changing and switching bodies and all that stuff right there's that and abilities right but in this one, uh, I mean, I guess you could say we saw way less Kamala in this one. And she might be away from the fighting for a while, I guess you could say, too. Because we do see her at the end, and she will have her powers at the end, maybe. But, I mean, we saw her in the beginning. We saw her when they switched places and stuff like that. But I feel like it's gonna be she's going to be more grounded. She'll be there, but she'll help out every now and then. But it won't be with her powers, like, every, the whole movie, you know? It, it'll mainly be Monica Rambeau. It'll be most likely, obviously, the as you guys saw in the trailer, she's destroying ships and the army. She's very, very powerful. Uh, Captain Marvel destroying everybody, right? And, of course, at the end, we do get to see Kamala and, all, and the rest fighting together. So we'll get to see that and we'll get to see of course nick fury uh and everybody else uh, other characters outside characters and whatnot uh but again i hope they they dive deep into this bleeding of universe reality i don't think they will i mean i hope they do and of, of course there is going to be a after credit scene and whatnot or mid credit scene and we'll get to see something about that but uh, as the as the time goes, guys, we are closer and closer to seeing uh, future projects. You know, we have the X Men, we have Fantastic Four coming up. We have the, well, I mean, we already have mutants, right? We even have the Echo Show, right? We even have that, which I'm excited for. 
Uh, we have a bunch of other stuff, other projects still in the works, but most likely they'll be coming out next year, if not next year, then 2025. But again, the Avengers one, the like the, cro the big crossover, the one I think a lot of people are waiting for, uh, is way later in a couple of years still. A couple of years still, a couple of years away is what I'm trying to say. Still, because uh, even though they were announced and they were supposed to come out in 2025, which is only two years, which isn't that far away, I don't think it's going to, no, it's not most likely 2026 2027 still ways away guys but nonetheless guys that is it for this trailer i think it looks good i mean again the other ones looked a lot more fun or at least the theme of fun and just your simple basic attack but now a basic movie where you got the enemy attacking the good guys and then the good guys defending themselves and fighting them and eventually winning because i don't think she's gonna win for sure and you guys saw at the end she looks like she's broken maybe that's her being very very powerful but I personally think that her, that's her breaking uh, with so much power, right? She has too much power, but eventually they're going to stop her. Maybe she overloads and explodes, you know, something like that. Just, just a little theory there. Um, but I think that at the end, we will see something happen. And this will cause, like, there's going to be a, a, a cause, an effect after this movie. Uh, we're gonna, and we're going to see it. So I think that's really cool. And I mean, crossing my fingers. I'm crossing my fingers, guys. Hopefully, we do get to. And I mean, I think she looks great. I think uh, Brie Larson, she's kicking butt as the character. And I feel like she's really into the character, too. Throughout this, throughout this trailer, throughout the other trailers, she would be great for her to make more movies. I feel like she's a good character. She's played the character enough now where she can keep going and going. And yes, this is like a three hero movie now, I guess you could say, right? So she's not by herself. Um, but. Again, she got she gets a lot of hate. You know, a lot of people don't like her. Uh, people don't. I don't know why. You know, uh, maybe after this, people won't like her. Won't will like her. I guess <laughs> we'll switch it up. You know. So everybody, that is going to be it for this coverage of the final trailer for the Marvels. Uh, let's watch slash talk right. And I think it's again. I think it's great. I think it's great that we got Monica Marimbo, Kamala, and we also have Captain Marvel all together. I think it's awesome. I think it's a nice combo, a nice pairing. And, of course, it's the Marvels, right? And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, guys. I, I mean, again, it's got some negative stuff going on. A lot of people are saying it's this and that, and other people are saying it's actually pretty good because some people have already seen it. And I'm looking forward to checking this one out, guys. But, yeah, that's it, guys, for the video. If you guys did enjoy, press the like button, guys. I like it. I always appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this trailer, about the movie. Are you guys going to go watch it? And uh, we'll see what happens because this is the final movie for 2023 and we'll see what the next movie is because I don't know what the next movie is actually for Marvel. So we'll, if you guys do know, let me know in the comments below as well because I'm curious to see what the first movie for next year is going to be because in 2023, the first movie was Ant-Man. And so next year, we'll see what comes out. But yeah, that's it guys. Take care. Stay amazing. I'll see y'all with the next one.